So you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here. And what we have here, we take 2 raised to the power 6 to the left hand side. That is here, yeah, this becomes x plus 3 all raised to the power 6 minus 2 raised to the power 6 then equals to 0 from here. Then here yeah, we can write this as x plus 3 all raised to power 3, then all raised to power 2. That's 2 times 3 here give us 6 and minus. Also, here we have 2 raised to power 3, then all raised to power 2 equals to 0 here. Then this follows when we have a square minus b square is the same thing as a plus b into brackets and open brackets a minus b. That is a standing as x plus 3 or raised to power 3 then b standing as 2 raised to power 3. Then what we have here follow this and becomes x plus 3 or raised to power 3 plus 2 raised to power 3 into brackets and also open bracket x plus 3 all raised to power 3 minus 2 raised to power 3 close bracket equals to 0 here. Then here we have two possible cases. The first one x plus 3 all raised to power 3 plus 2 raised to power 3 equals to 0 or we have x plus 3 all raised to power 3 minus 2 raised to power 3 equals to 0 here. Then solving on this side, this follows when we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3, which is the same thing as a plus b into brackets and open brackets a square minus a b plus b square. Then what we have here. All of this and becomes x plus 3 plus 2 into brackets and open brackets x plus 3 all square minus 2 times x plus 3 then plus 2 squared plus brackets equals to 0 here then here we have x plus 5 into brackets the open bracket expansion here gives us x squared plus 6x plus 9. The minus 2 open this bracket, we have minus 2x minus 6, then plus 4, close bracket equals to 0 here. Then this becomes x plus 5 into brackets and open bracket. Here we have x squared. And 6x minus 2x equals plus 4x. Then we have minus 6 plus 4, that's minus 2. And 9 minus 2, that's plus 7. Plus bracket equals to 0 here. That is, we have two possible cases here. x plus 5 equals to 0. Or we have x squared plus 4x plus 7 equals to 0 here. Then, solving on this side, this gives us x equals to minus 5, which is a real solution here. This side we have a quadratic equation, where a equals to 1, b equals to 4, and c equals to 7. Applying the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Then what we have here becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square minus 4 times 1 times 7 all over 2 times 1. As this here, we have x equals to Minus 4 plus or minus square root of 
4 squared, that's 16. Then minus 4, then 1, then 7, that's 28. Then all over 2. Then here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 20, that's minus 12 over 2 here. Which also can write as x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 times 3 times minus 1 here yeah, over 2. Then when we separate this, Root 4, that's 2, we take it away. x equals to minus 4 plus or minus 2, we have root 3, then root minus 1 is i over 2. That is, yeah, we factor 2 out here, we have x equals to 2 into brackets, we have minus 2 plus or minus root 3 i, then over 2 here. Yeah. Then here we have two cancelled each other. We are left with x equals to minus 2 plus or minus root 3i. Here we have two complex solutions here. Then, solving from the second case here, this follows when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3, which is the same thing as a minus b into brackets. Then open brackets, a squared plus a b plus b squared then what we have here follow this and becomes x plus 3 minus 2 into brackets then open brackets yeah we have x plus 3 or squared plus 2 times x plus 3 plus 2 squared close brackets equals to 0 here. Then this here give us x plus 1 into brackets, then open brackets. Yeah, expansion becomes x squared plus 6x plus 9, then plus 2 open this bracket, we have 2x plus 6, then plus 2 squared as 4 close brackets equals to 0 here. That is, what we have here becomes x plus 1 into brackets, the open brackets, here yeah, we have x squared, 6x plus 2x, that's plus 8x, then 4 plus 6, that's 10 plus 9, that's plus 19, close bracket, equals to 0 here. Then we have two possible cases, the first one, x plus 1 equals to 0, or we have x squared plus 8x plus 19 equals to 0 here. Solving on this side, this gives us x equals to minus 1, which is also a real solution here. And here we have a quadratic equation. We are equals to 1, b equals to 8, and c equals to 19. Then applying the quadratic formula, this becomes x equals to minus 8 plus or minus square root of 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times 19 over 2 times 1. That is, yeah, we have x equals to minus 8 plus or minus square root of 8 squared, that's 64, then minus. 4 times 1 times 19, that gives us 76, then all over 2 here. That is, yeah, we have x equals to minus 8 plus or minus square root of 64 minus 76, we have minus 12, then all over 2 here. Then, this becomes x equals to minus 8 plus or minus square root of 4 times 3 times minus 1 over 2. And when we separate this, root 4, that's 2, we take it out and we have x equals to minus 8 plus or minus 4. Then we have root 3, root minus 1 is i over 2. Then here, yeah, we can factor 2 out here, we have x equals to 2 into brackets, minus 4 plus or minus. 2 root 3 high left here over 2. At this here, 
these two cancel each other. We have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus 2 root 3r. As this here, we have two complex solutions here. And therefore, all together here, we have six solutions in this problem. Two real solutions here, two complex solutions here, and two complex solutions here. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.